Hey everybody. So uh, I haven't streamed for a few days because I haven't really had anything uh, suitable. It's kind of been long, boring segments of animation. Uh, so I was wondering what to stream today and I remembered um, when I was looking how to rig long hair, it was really hard to find help. And this is a really cute puppet that I rigged a while ago. So I thought, oh, let's try re-rigging it live and see if I can remember how we did it. Um, so first, uh, this is uh, the current rig. Let's go to long hair unrigged. Probably the first thing we want to do is take a look at the artwork. So um, I've created a level called back hair. Um, and in back hair there's base and uh, everything, all the dangles hanging off of it. So I just broke it up into little pieces. I don't know if we want to take a look at how the back hair is set up. Um, so there's dangles here. Let's go like this. So each place that I want to move, I've broken up into a strip called one, two, three, four, five. Um, and then there's a base that everything's attached to called back hair. Uh, let's go back into CH and start rigging. So I'm going to rig her like I normally would. Okay. So frontal tagged is front and also as a head, head tagged as head, and I want to add face behavior to it. And I'm going to do the same for back hair. So I want that tagged as a head, and I'm also going to add face behavior to it. Let's go back up in here and add our, um, so dragger. So in the head face behavior, I always put head position strength to zero, head scale strength to zero. Um, and I'm going to attach that like I normally do. Oh, make sure that your head is independent. And then back hair, I'm also going to make independent. And if I remember correctly, I changed the neck. So I want the back hair to pivot at a slightly different spot because it's a little further behind. Um, so if we go into the neck artwork, I believe I extended the neck up just so that I had a higher pivot point. Oh, that's on the body. So yeah, her neck is kind of hilarious when you look at it, um, but it's hidden behind, behind her head. So all I did was just bring the neck artwork up a little bit. Um, so I can attach that pivot point up. Okay, let's continue rigging. Um, so heads attached, body, let's do the arms and legs. So again, you'd want your shoulders on the body layer if you're doing like say walk behavior. I'm not going to bother putting in all the sticks and everything because I already have her rigged up for um, proper. But just so that LimIK and everything registers correctly, we'll put in the um, dragger points. Okay, and in the back hair, I'm going to go in and um, attach all my dangles to the, the base hair. So we'll go in, we'll find dangle one, we'll make it 
and do pendant. Put our dangles where we think they're gonna look good. And I'm gonna do that for each dangle that I created. And um, if I remember correctly, this took a little bit of adjusting, like after we go in onto the stage, um, you can spend hours adjusting all those. Uh, do we want five dangly? Yeah, we probably would. Okay, and then she also has some hair in front. Um, when the artist created it, she kind of had bangs in the front and then the back layer. Um, so that I called front hair. I'm going to make that movable as well. Uh, but I don't want it to shift off her, off her head, so I'm just going to pin the top. But we will make dangles on the edges here. Um, and that'll give it a little bit of dimension. Like when we've got parallax, um, we can get a little bit of like head turn illusion. And then I did make all these wisps um, dangly, uh, but I, I think I took them out. Sorry, I rigged the original puppet like quite a while ago. I think I took them out because it was just too much. Um, the other thing we can do if we want, so right now dangle one level of dangle is adjusting them all. So if we go, let's actually see if I've done this correctly and pull her onto the stage. Okay, so the back hair is working correctly. Now when we go into, into the face behavior and back hair, this is where you can start adjusting um, how you want it to move. So it's basically, it's rigged up, if, if you do advanced um, rigging, it's rigged up like an ear currently um, so head scale strength I think I'll put to zero because I don't want her hair to get bigger and smaller um, and it's not bad just how it is like we're getting a little bit of let's put parallax on her actual face so face head we'll put parallax up to 200 okay so now you can see it's moving opposite so remember when we're doing ears we'll just make head position strength minus 100 and now it should move. So see, we even get a bit of parallax. This is where you can spend hours. Um, so currently, the dangle physics are all set exactly the same. So if, if we turn up and down our, our dangle stiffness here, that's where you'll get longer and shorter. You can adjust the bounce. Um, but say we wanted the front hair to move differently than the back hair. Like, say the back hair moves great, but the front is really stiff. We'd like it softer. So if we go into rig mode, we can actually go into front hair and add physics just to front hair. And that'll give us um, a, a new adjuster. So when we go back into record mode in here, we'll find physics front hair. And we can adjust the dangle on that one separately, which is really nice. So let's make her front hair. Oh, just a second, front hair's not dangling. What did I do differently here? Let's take out one of these dangles. Physics front hair. Hmm, our front hair is not dangling properly. <laughs> Normally that's the easy part and the back hair was hard. But anyway, if you ever wanted to know how to rig up back back hair that's how I do it um, I know when I looked for tutorials there wasn't much so yeah in rig mode let's go over so it's frontal inside frontal is head body and back hair head is independent tagged as head with face behavior same with back hair just the settings are different so yeah if you know how to rig up ears 
for parallax, you know how to rig up back hair. So that's the one we just did really quickly. Um, let's go to the one that I spent hours adjusting the settings. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not as hard as I thought it was, but it took quite a lot of experimenting because I, I couldn't find any good help. Man, that computer fan is loud. So that's, that's basically all I have to stream today. I hope you have an awesome afternoon.